Well, guys, got another ingenious video. I bought a like and subscribe. Just kidding. I bought a nice new 24 port switch, equivalent to my Aruba 1930 24P OE switch. I've got rid of all my or Aruba stuff, and now I'm going to go all ingenious. The perfect lab. That's what I bought all my equipment for, is to play with it, rotate it, sell it off, learn and all that kind of stuff. Recommend people equipment and show people the ins and outs of everything. So, my last video, Brian from Ingenious reached out and said, Hey, we saw your two little wishes that you have and your suggestions. Good work on that. And they're going to implement those into the next release of the software. And they're going to probably, looks like, make a little wall template for people to mount the access points. That's pretty sweet. So, today, we're going to unbox, one second, this nice, big, ingenious business switch, ECS1528P. The P is for PoE. It's a 200 watt, I think it's 200 watt, let me see here, I got it up on my screen. It's the 240 watt uh, PoE switch. I mean, I'll never use that, I only got maybe six or seven PoE devices, but I bought this one instead of the 240 because I just really did not need that. So this one is going to be the one that's going to replace my Ingenious, in the, or not Ingenious, but my Aruba up top there. So today I'm going to unbox it, add it to the cloud controller, and then go over a couple specs. And then after about a week of me figuring things out and going through the lists and the menus and all that stuff, figuring things out, I'll do another video of show you guys what I have learned. So. Let's go over a couple specs first. Add it to my new cloud controller that I just created for the home. So all this stuff that I'm buying right now, the switch and my new access point, I bought a four x four access point, is for the home. And then I'm gonna get some more stuff and put it in the lab. because so I wanna keep both of them separated because I don't wanna have them together. Let's look at some specs here. Uh, this is the switch that I bought. So we have the cloud managed 24 port uh, switch. Now they make two versions, one version's cloud, one version is local manage and I want to do the cloud stuff and go from there. The access point that I bought that's above in my room here is the 4x4 local managed and I want to get the other version of it. So here's the switch. Uh, a couple of settings we're going to go over or setting or features we have here. We have excuse me, 24 PoE 10 100 1000 based um, ports. We have layer 2 switching. PoE Plus on there at 240 watt budget, so that's all ports combined. Four SFP Plus ports. Now they're um, multi link, so you can go 1 gig or 10 gig. Uh, PoE Extended Mode, uh, Quick Scan Device Register, Remote Monitoring and Troubleshooting. Hybrid Switch supports multiple management options. Not sure what that is, but. I'm going to learn all this stuff and I'm going to show you guys and bring you along what I'm going to learn. So I was talking to um, Brian and I said, how picky are the ingenious switches for SFP adapters? Because you know Aruba, it's very picky. You put an SFP adapter in there and it doesn't like it, it just goes orange and it doesn't work. No link. With some of the Cisco stuff that I have, it works just fine. I want My main concern is because I have a lot of um, 10G tech... Um, adapters in my network that I really like that work really well and I bought a lot of them so hopefully that works we'll try that later in another video and it looks like the cloud so I have my cloud open here ready to go so we can I guess we should unlock unbox it one thing I haven't opened the box or anything but one thing I'm really curious to find out is how loud the switch is so I'm gonna power it up and we're gonna see how loud it is but let's unbox it so in the box that was kind of funny. Maybe it's upside down. In this little brown box now, we get a power cord, standard US Canadian power cord. We get a serial to DB9 cable. That's cool. I haven't seen one of those in years. We got some fuzzy feet if we want to put it on a desk or on a table. The rack switches or the rack ears, and they look pretty standard, so it's pretty cool. So we'll have two of those because we're going to have to put those on. And then we have the switch. Oh, and there's an installation guide. All right. 
we'll look at that after. Let's pull this nice switch out. Oh, there's a console port on the port on the side here. That's cool. So on the back, we see our power and two fans. It smells like new. I'm not gonna take this guy apart unless the fans are really loud, or then it's gonna get the fan mod. But if I have to do that, that'll be a video. Okay, so on the front we have console and some power light buttons and some modes. So we got a reset switch, pretty common, a toggle switch that so we can go through the lights on here. So the LEDs are power, fault, PoE max. That's a good idea. I like that idea because uh, if uh, there's any, if we're pulling too much power, then uh, we'll get a light and we can actually see that on actually on the switch. LAN mode and PoE mode, okay? And then we got our 24 PoE ports. And on the end here, we have four SFP plus ports, combo ports, because they do one gig too. So let's plug this bad boy in. And I already have a cable at my desk that will plug it in to do and add it to my uh, network port. Want to make sure that you guys all know that these devices will call home and do firmware updates. So my last video um, unboxing my 220S access point, the reason why it took so long is because it called home and then did a firmware update and Brian verified that for me. That's why it took so long. So usually it boots way faster if the firmware is update. This might do the same thing, so let's plug this in. It's on, it's quiet. I don't hear any fans. Switch is booting because we got power and LAN mode doing something. As it's doing that, I'm going to grab my screwdriver here and put the ears on it because I'm going to be rack mounting this guy today. Oh, now the fans are on. Now I hear it. Oh, but they quiet right down. I can feel air going through them, so it's a quiet switch. We'll soon. We'll see how much louder it is. Maybe it's still booting and doing other things. So. Anybody notice the sonic wall that I have on my desk here? Maybe people are going to uh, wander and ponder what uh, firewall I might be doing next. So I'll share this screen with you. Let's see if what happens here. So admin, maybe admin? Nope. Maybe no password. Uh-oh. Instructions. We need the instructions. Uh-oh. Admin and password, never. Always read the instructions, right? Maybe. This thing's quiet. I can't even hear this. It's dead quiet. That's sweet. Okay, so there's our serial number. I'm gonna copy this because I'm lazy and I don't really want to look under the switch because it's running. Just in case it's doing firmware and I bump the power. Oh, I don't want to do that. So let's go register device. Let's add it to my portal. Go here. Register, success, done. I mean, that's pretty easy. Dashboard. Uh, it must be doing something now. It's gotta be. Probably doing firmware updates, because I don't see it yet. No data display. It says everything's okay. I'm really happy that this thing's quiet. I'm gonna assume that it's doing updates right now or doing something, so. Oh, that's something cool to see. So if you got multiple switches or devices and you have all the serial numbers already written down, usually that's what I do, I document everything, you can add them into the register device and it will add all the devices at the same time. That's a good idea. Instead of doing one at a time, that's pretty sweet. I like that. What's this thing doing? It doesn't see the switch yet. Oh, do I have to add the switch to it? Learning. Now, can we see the switch? Now we see the switch, but it says it's offline. Issues detected. Well, what's the issue? It doesn't offline switch. One of the switches, check that there's a connection issue or simply take the switches out of the network device and detect it. 
Why would I want to do that? I just added the switch to the deck. Ah, now it's online. Just took time to do. Okay. That's cool. So, pretty easy video. As you can see, I'm very new. I don't know anything about these, but I'm going to learn all that, and I'm going to share that with you guys. Hopefully, you guys like the video. Pretty basic video today. I'm going to go mount this into my rack and start getting things rolling and playing around. Um, any questions or anything like that, let me know. Um, you guys have a great day. Let's go on to the next adventure. See you later.